gone doggone wild around here. So trying to dial in this uh, lip here on this side. Got all the primer laid down last night. And there's always something else. So uh, not really liking that side. So I put a little uh, smeg on there. I got this one looking pretty decent. It's still a little wavy down at the bottom. I might put one more wipe on it. <sighs> Just, uh, it's hard to make them really nice, you know? It's always something. And uh, after you paint it, it's sort of screwed. So uh, we might dial those in a little bit longer. I mean, I'd rather dick with this now than after I paint it and uh, have that be the only thing they're not happy with. It's the only thing I'm seeing on the car that's not exactly uh, up to standards. So I'll keep messing with those, uh, I don't know what this is, rain gutter uh, seam. This is what comes apart like a door skin seam. And uh, this clip basically goes on, gets welded, and this gets folded back over like a door skin. And, uh, you can imagine when you got to pry the factory seam open and try to put it back together and make it look like something, it's not very easy. So, uh, that would have to be revisited if I ever did that again. Really? Can you leave the cat alone? That's the cat that just does not like you. No, that one don't like you. Come on, let's go get a treat. Any hoozle, that's where we're at with that. Getting ready to scuff that down. We'll put some seam sealer down. Some two-part self-leveling. And uh, I probably have to use some heavy body too on those seams in the engine compartment there. And uh, I think I'm gonna get in here and sand some of this seam sealer down like I did up front. Uh, knock some of the edges down and stuff that uh, didn't lay exactly like I wanted it to. So, so yeah, we're a little closer. We're getting a little closer every day. I gotta stay on this. I really need to get this painted and uh, I know a lot of guys are wanting to work on the Nova, and I just can't stop on this right now. I did get the Nova fender primed here, so we are still making forward progress, and it looks really damn good. So I'm happy with the way this turned out. It's nice and uh, smooth, nice and straight. We'll go ahead and fix this one spot that I missed down here, here, and uh, do a little block and dolly and give that a wipe down there. But all in all, the fender's really, uh, it's looking good. So. Going the right way. Got two fenders now. Got to do a hood. Got some hinges from Mike. So uh, we can uh, bolt the hood on once we get it uh, fixed up. There's my other uh, fender over there. Let's use the uh, direct metal primer on that one. And uh, we went with the MK2P on this one. So I, I like this primer a little better. It's got more build and uh, seems to lay down. Uh, a little smoother, I guess. I don't know. It's super silky smooth this morning. Real nice. And uh, the car's looking pretty good, too. So I'm happy with the way the primer laid down. Got late. I don't know if you guys noticed anything missing in here. But uh, it was so late when I got done. I came out of the house this morning. And uh, my race car's sitting outside. So usually that car doesn't go outside unless it's going to a race. And uh, lately it's been in enclosed trailers. But... Uh, there she is sitting out there with a flat tire, so we need to give that a bath today and uh, put some air in the tire and uh, remember to put it inside tonight. So, sorry that video got so long last night, got a little long winded. Sometimes uh, when you're tired, you just repeat yourself and uh, probably could have put that together a little better. But uh, some, some guys will get some stuff out of that maybe. And uh, if it helps one person, then it was worth making. So. Let me get some uh, dog treats here. Can you sit? Can you sit? Are you pretty dog? Mm-hmm. Can you sit? You're a crazy dog. Yeah. Can you do the trick for everybody? Can you do the nose trick? Can we do it? No. Well, she got it, but I don't know if I got it in the camera. Ah, oh, some butter fingers. I dropped it there. That's a good arm too. Sit. I didn't tell you to stand up. Oh, you're sitting pretty too? We'll do the nose trick. I'm gonna keep this video short. Try to give you some uh, short ones today. Say. There you go. Anywho, uh, I got this fender over here. We're gonna cut this out and uh, weld a piece of metal in here. 
So maybe I'll get that set up and I'll turn the camera on when I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, somebody had a question and uh, I don't really remember what it was because I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go in there and read some questions and I'll make a video and answer a couple questions like I do. And uh, got a message from Matt's from Southwest Customs from Sweden and uh, he might be coming to Florida, might be moving here. So that be, might be cool, might have a new helper in the shop. And uh, Matt's, if you're serious, uh, you're more than welcome. We'll uh, get you a beetle and uh, do you a beetle up. I know you want to do a beetle and uh, we'll find you a beetle and restore one. So if you want to do that, you know, we can do it here and uh, all that good stuff. So I'll start looking for a car for you. A shell or something that we can uh, bring back. So, so that's pretty cool if that works out. I have an assistant, <laughs> a cameraman. So yeah. I need to uh, get some bolts cleaned up for this still out there in the parts washer and uh, I need to start making an hour a day on this car but uh, just haven't had an hour in a day lately so I'm gonna try to pull these fenders down today and get those holes welded up while I'm welding the, uh, that uh, last little bit up on that uh, fender over there once I get these fenders done I think we'll be ready to uh, Get some paint going on here. There's a little spot on the quarter panel right there. Somebody welded that up before and uh, yeah, I don't know what's in there. So I'm gonna have to put the fender on there, find the hole and uh, drill and tap it out. Maybe put an insert in there. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do, but uh, I noticed that the other night. We didn't really do anything to the back of the car, you know, but if I leave that like that, I'm sure that uh, I'll get grief from it. It looks like it had a sheet metal screw holding the fender on at the bottom to me. And I'm sure that's not how they want to put it back on this time. So uh, same with this side. For some reason, it's missing a bolt hole and it's got a stud sticking out of the bottom there. So uh, we'll have to investigate that. Little stupid stuff like that is what's left. Uh, you know, but that's the kind of stuff that makes the difference between a really nice car and an all right car. A couple other little things that it's popped up last night was I have this dent right here. It's an Audi. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's an Audi dent. So we're going to get a paint paddle and a hammer and try to knock that back in. Apparently there's a hinge or something located there when this car got hit super hard. It must have dented the dash because I got it on both sides. A little bit different dent on this side, but uh, I think we should be able to get a knockdown tool and get most of this out without paint. But I want to go ahead and fix that. I don't want to leave a dent right there while you're driving the car and see that every day. So, stupid little stuff, you know, cleaning up these channels, getting the little jizz cleaned up. Uh, that's where we're at. So, got to get some uh, epoxy up there. Miss that. That needs to be sanded. So a little more work in here. And uh, like I said, I want to sand some of that seam sealer down back there and I need to uh, put a little more in a couple spots. So, so if you do watch that video, thanks. It's a real long one. Some of you guys really don't need a primer video, but some of you guys were asking for it. So uh, what the hell, I put it up there. So got some uh, wire for the welder here. Get that on there, US forged. Got a good deal on that, screaming deal. And uh, should have some sandpaper and stuff here somewhere. Ordered some uh, sandpaper and that welding wire and uh, something else. I don't know. I spent way too much money on materials this week. And uh, it's always hard to go get uh, a check at the end of the week on this car, you know, when I want to get paid because. It just uh, doesn't seem like it moves very far, but it sure sucks the hours up. So, so that's where we're at. We got uh, no humidity today. I don't know if I showed you that. Creeping up on 90. It's 60% uh, humidity. So uh, yeah, you guys uh, go check Ron out. Ron's, he's uh, doing a paint job on a car, fixing some dents, fixing some scratches. Go over there, give him some support. Take a look at uh, his project, Ron's Garage. Good guy. 
comments on my channel a lot. And uh, yeah, he's right in the middle of, uh, I think he's doing a Camry. He's doing the sides on it, doing a repaint. Big Eric, he's doing the garage. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then Ziggy gassed up, got the new job, kicking ass there. I knew that'd work out. How can Ziggy not work out? So uh, I'd love to have a Ziggy over here, man. I can tell you that. That'd be good. But uh, there aren't a lot of Ziggies in the world. All right, guys, let me go ahead and shut this down. And I uh, want to give out a shout out to John over there, Sign of the Times. Hope your mom's doing okay. I haven't heard from you. And uh, I know he donated some a sticker package for the YouTube garage extravaganza. And uh, I appreciate that. You know, uh, a lot of you guys look at things different than other guys. And uh, the whole idea is to throw a nice barbecue, you know, get to know some of you guys. And uh, we were going to go a little bigger with the, the car show and all that stuff. But me having the surgery and not knowing what kind of shape I'm going to be in, it'll be... Uh, Car shows three months after the surgery, and uh, you know they're replacing everything in my lower back. It's not just the basic, you know, clean out the disc. I'm getting all new disc. I'm getting uh, bone unattached and reattached to my hip. Uh, so it's it's pretty involved. They're gonna cut me from my asshole to about the middle of my back. So uh, you know we're gonna do a little raffle thing here and there. I'm gonna try to find some stuff in here and raffle off so we can get some stuff for. Uh, some briskets and some chickens and you know just to cover the food and stuff it's uh we're not trying to make any money on this deal we're just trying to uh you know at least give you guys a little something when you come down to florida and make the trip you know where you can uh remember the trip and uh, enjoy yourself while you're here you know we want to be able to uh entertain you guys and do some stuff with you guys and uh unfortunately you know that all costs money and when people start eating good food you know it adds up so that's, uh, I saw Yahooven made a video, and I uh, appreciate that, Yahooven. Uh, you know, anytime you try to raise money or do anything like that, you sort of expose yourself to uh, the thumbs down guy, and I appreciate Yahooven uh, going out on the ledge like that. So uh, I'll try to get some stuff up to auction off. I got a bunch of uh, buffing pads and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll auction off some of those, some polishing pads and buffing pads. New ones, of course, not used ones. And uh, maybe we'll auction off some candy. I got some candy in there, some candy concentrate. You know, it'll go in uh, in the 500 or it'll go in the, our inner coat clear or it'll go in the urethane clear, however you want to do it. Uh, stuff like that, you know. I can uh, do some stuff like that, some product auctions. And, uh, you know, we'll all work together and try to make something out of this uh, little thing. And uh, the first one works out and if it's a... Uh, a little bit of anything will just make the second one bigger but uh you got to start somewhere guys and uh you know all we're trying to do is just you know try to give back a little bit to the youtube garage and uh try to make somewhere where everybody can get together or at least a group of us and uh you know hang out and bullshit and meet each other uh, i went to pisters party and it was pretty cool to meet some of those guys you know a lot of the guys that i met up there uh you know, our Pisser's friends, they've been subscribed to him for a long time, and I think they like seeing the shop, walking around, meeting Pisser and stuff, so it was pretty cool. And uh, got to meet some good people up there, so I'm sure it'll be uh, a lot of the same down here, you know. Uh, so we just want to plan to try to have some stuff for us to do, you know, other than just, you know, sit around and uh, have a one-time deal, you know. Maybe we'll do a picnic, car cruise, stuff like that, but... Uh, Anything that uh, anybody can contribute would be appreciated and uh, if you have any ideas any activities or something that you think you'd want to do while you were here uh, You know any input would be appreciated too. So uh, You know, it's so like I said the one person alone can only do so much, but you know together we can almost do the impossible so That's what we'll be doing. So all right, let me shut this off. We'll get this set up. We'll cut this out. We'll get some metal out. We'll get the welder set up, put the new bottle in there. And, uh, well, we got the new bottle, but we'll put some new wire in it. And, uh, you're not being a good dog. No. No. No, you can't eat the cat. Just because the cat doesn't like you. There's one cat that doesn't like you, and you can't stand it. Yeah. Come on. You want a treat? 
You want a treat? Yeah. So, there you go. Mystical. Alright guys, I'm going to shut this off and uh, I'll give you a parting red dog shot.